but where where is where's the talk about the actual science? It's always about he said, she said, bullshit. <laughs> And nobody's ever bothering to actually talk about real science. Did you had any any good exercise over there? Did, did you learn something new? Uh, I've learned. What did I learn? Nothing. Huh? Uh, no, I actually learned one thing, which I said out loud, um, since I couldn't help myself, that I wasn't too sure about Witset uh, uh, until I got it. I. I always thought I couldn't make, wouldn't be able to make up my mind until I talked to him directly, and that happened yesterday. And now my mind is completely made up. So I've learned that. Let's pitch it to Brenda. Peter said something that spurred me to join. I wanted to ask him what he concluded about Austin Woodson. I concluded that he's completely just a maestro of word salad. He just like stringing together a whole bunch of random words and just like talking his mumbo jumbo he can use all these words that nobody understands to mm. to seem smart he has asked chat gpt in a certain way that it produces the most amount of word salad that makes him sound smart and he just memorizes that shit he literally has nothing better better to do than to memorize pure word salad for so many words out that just sound really smart. If you put effort into sounding smart rather than being smart, then you're going to sound smart. It just doesn't make sense. He went on an entire rant about how, you know, Newtonian mechanics was debunked by, you know, this and that and this and that. You know, gravity uh, acts instantaneously and that there's no, like, time factor involved and all. Like, he went, like, just off. I couldn't follow more than one sentence in a sequence. I, I couldn't fucking focus at all. Trust me, I could not focus. It sounds like he's reading off of a script. I've, I've never met a person who actually talks that way. And um, I had nothing to say in response to it. Just, I just couldn't do it. He's, he's pretty good at, um, at using the word salad, at applying it. So that's why he's their chief uh, scientist right now. Not everybody can be a robot polisher. Thank you, what's it? And I have known for a while now that I wouldn't be able to know for sure who you were until I spoke to you directly. And I, now I know who you are. Bro, you didn't say anything. Nobody gives a damn about what you think or know what about this man. Just talk about the What he just said was a complete time. random mix of words that make no sense. Which part? Hey, which part? Peter, which part? Which part? Who has which part? ever read a physics Which part was random? All which of it. Part? Name All one. of it. Repeat the conjugate, conjugate craft to what the conjugate means. Do you know what conjugate means? Dude, you're, you're nuts. You know you're what completely con- nuts. Yeah, so if you don't understand words, that doesn't make it word salad. I even defined it for you. Oh. you know what a kinematic equivalence is? No, obviously I'm not doing physics like what you are. Okay, okay. Professor Witz, wait, 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 I've been through this wait, new- watching your videos. You see, you see, uh, you see how you being condescending with no answer, Peter. You see that? You call him Professor Witzit because he's schooling you. That's what's happening. So appreciate you showing that respect, my guy. I'm not listening because I'm asking a question. I was in the middle of talking. He serves me another serving of words out. Name one thing I've said that's words out. The Newtonian equations could be used as the first approximation. I know. He said, highlight what he said that was word salad. You said that you agreed with it. Then I said, then you agreed with what he said. Then you agreed, then you agreed, then you agreed with what he said and then ask him a question. So explain what he said that was word salad, Peter. Do you know what word salad is? Explain what he said that was word salad. That's very simple. Word salad is a delicious salad composed of words that includes facts that are not relevant to the conversation. That's not what word salad is. I asked you, is. That's it. Not what word Do you salad under is. to me that's no, what it means? No, it doesn't matter what Every it means. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. To me, that's what it means. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Listen, you want me to cue up the definition of words? Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna let you handle it, bro. Go ahead. Let, let this man know since he's making up that this is what this is who you guys are appealing to. This is the science. A guy that's making up his own definitions in fallacious manners to substantiate his arguments. This is your guy? Wait a Get this yeah, man, bro. Yeah, Get him out yeah of here. word salad is basically uh, putting a bunch of words together that are incoherent and don't even logically make sense. It's an incomprehensible, incoherent stringing together of words typically associated with schizophrenia. Okay, so word salad, word, word salad would be something like yesterday, seven chicken blue. Why? Okay, word salad is literally incoherent. Okay, let me make sure I got it. Or something like quantum mechanics refutes Newtonian mechanics, gravity. That that, that is that is very specifically coherent. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not to anyone who knows physics. Uh, it's not. Yo, you but haven't to a random audience, it is. You haven't substantiated yeah, yeah. nothing that yet. I might fly with random people on YouTube, but yeah. not with How people who yeah, have so studied cool. physics. Hold on. Yeah, like you guys always just throw out the accusation of word salad to try to like avoid the fact that you can never rebut what I actually say whenever it has substantive specificity, and it's all good. You don't even know what it is. You, you know, it's so funny. How many physicists would agree with your Plenty, um, I got statement. plenty of physicist papers that agree with me. Name name three. Okay. Dayton Miller, Mickelson, Albert Mickelson, Edward Morley. We have Oliver Heaviside, Oliver Heaviside, Charles Proto Steinmetz, of course Nikola Tesla. We got Dirac, we got Herbert, we got Yuri Galev, we have Dimio, oh. James Dimio, we have Royong Wang, we have my boy, PhD physicist Robert Bennett, who completely agrees with me on all of that, by the way. PhD physicist. Nice. Agree with Does he recognize relativity as a valid theory? No, no, no. no. Because he knows that it's been specifically refuted with precise interferometric measurements showing the preferred direction. Inter, inter what? Interferometri interferometric, interfer interferometry. Inter interferometric. You don't even know the words. Yeah. This is the guy that's going to teach you about the globe, Earth. He don't He's even Googling know the right words now. or the definitions. This is your leader. This is the guy. Y'all got to be kidding me, bro. He literally going in space is talking about, oh, it'd be so easy to dunk on the flat earthers. And you haven't even gotten the ball one time. Which have been pulling up from half court on your ass since the, since the time he came in here. You even came off the bench. Your man's tagged you in and you still don't have nothing for him. This is one guy. I didn't even say nothing. Allen didn't say nothing. Indio didn't say nothing. This is just one guy taking down all of you. How can you speak with such arrogance, bro? Anyway, bro, well, this is what's funny, right? Your tactics aren't working. I suggest that you try to actually inform yourself on some of these things prior to running around, trying to use these little like gamma male tactics. It's super exhausting and lame. And everyone here knows that when you start to get dunked on, your tactic is just to claim that I don't make sense as if you can gaslight me and everyone in the room that we're actually insane. Because you don't. You don't even know the words. How can you tell somebody they don't make sense and the words that they're giving you, you're Googling in real time in front of 140 people. You're Googling the words he's giving to you saying, you don't you're make so sense funny, because I can't piece. define them. You're Peter, do you hear yourself? Bro, I know you've never met or came in contact with no forces from like level heads. I know, and you try to troll us but you are embarrassing yourself, my guy. I had way higher expectations from someone so condescending on the timeline, popping so much shit. How dare you associate yourself from the 90s bulls? You, how dare you? Bro, you're not even the current wizards. You weren't you're even not even yet, the current you? pistons. How dare you call yourself the 90 bull, the bulls, bro? You are coming off the bench and you are shooting air balls and that is your preferred shape. Cannot believe it. Do y'all hear this? Do y'all see what's happening right here? Guys that's sitting over here talking about they going to war with us is Googling the words we're using towards them. How crazy, what type of a matrix are we in y'all? Now that you got a chance to talk to science and you can't obfuscate and all your little tactics that you're trying to use to obfuscate away from answering the questions isn't working. 
all you have is insults and ad homs and no substantiation of any claims. And we didn't even get to nobody else in here yet. This is just Wissett. Just a random guy who didn't finish college. And you have nothing but a master's degree that didn't serve you. You played yourself. You started war with the wrong guys and you didn't even have to do it. What you could have done was build with us, my guy. You could have took whatever you learned and merged it with whatever we learned so we could figure out a common ground. But what you decided to do was take a toxic route and embarrass yourself, my guy. And that's too bad because now you are literally dying in real time. You're talking about nailed it. What he did was nail your coffin. Not everybody can be a robot polisher. And nobody's ever bothering to actually talk about real science. The, the younger or the less experienced Globers don't help the cause. That is very true. Those are eaten alive by lions. They just devour him. Like it's, it's blood is squirting all over the place. And there's nothing left of the Glober at the end.